it was there. It's time to get real with Jahaira. It's time to get real with Jahaira. YouTube was there. YouTube, what's the deal? <laughs> it's your girl Jahira, and I am back. I <laughs> I always want to make sure my voice syncs up with the um, the video, <laughs> so I'm looking to see when it starts. And I can only imagine. Please don't screenshot that face, or if you do, send it to me so we can both laugh. Anyway, hi y'all. What's going on? Um, I wanted to come in and um. Just kind of do some general chit chat with y'all. Um, where did the term chit come from? Where, how did that happen? Anyone? Okay. Um, but yeah, like my my upcoming holiday is going to be <coughs> delightfully busy. So I kind of wanted to get this out of the way now. Uh, first and foremost, thank y'all. Thank you so much. Truly, thank you. Thank you for your response on my last video. It... <sighs> One of the fastest ways to find out if you are alone in this world is to make a YouTube video and see how many like-minded people that there are. I didn't make that video for the purpose of, you know, getting a whole lot of amens or, or asking people to kind of jump on board with me. It really was about sort of making myself available to anybody who might experience the same feelings that I do. From my Instagram to my Twitter, it just, just everywhere that I am a presence, the One Love Lounge, people have, I'm not going to cry this early in, but just the the way that people have reached out um whether seeking their own advice or simply to affirm the things that i was saying you just can't put a price on that level of validation and and the way that my subtastics have trusted me i'm 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 beside myself and i thank you i thank you from the bottom of my heart I truly thank you. It's been amazing. So there is that. Um, oh God. Parenthetically, I should also let you know uh, that I have been made aware of a video <laughs> that came out in January regarding me being re-uploaded to uh, another channel or some subsidiary within the original channel. Uh, Y'all, I know what's going on. I'm, I'm aware. I have been made aware. And I'm not going to give it too much more energy than what it deserves, which to me is next to nothing. Uh, it's, it's amazing to me that you can get a hold of Jesus much faster than you can get a hold of a, a Google customer service representative but I, I know what's going on, and I'm essentially going to leave it at that. This is the holiday season. I happen to observe Christmas. I am in the Christmas spirit. And the Bible says, touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm. It is amazing to me. And I'll, I'll just give it this little piece. It, it is amazing to me that you have people in this world that commit acts that are rooted in hate and malice and vitriol and then have the audacity to wonder why there is so much hell in their life. <laughs> I will never be able to wrap my brain around Folks that just do the most inflammatory, incendiary bullshit and then look around at their own circumstance going, Why me? I'm such a good person. <laughs> it, Y'all, it's all good. It's really all good. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're, we're moving on. <laughs> we are all the way moving on. 
Um, so as again, I, I wanted to come in, just kind of touch base with y'all. And I really wanted to talk about my New Year's resolution. Now, I know that I am a little bit early to the party on this. This is a fascinating headband, y'all. It doubles as like a hat and like a hair wrap and a scarf, like based on how many times you fold it. And I haven't quite gotten my my folding capabilities down to a science yet. Meanwhile, I mean, I'll get there. But yeah, um, I wanted to talk about New Year's resolutions. And, and I know I'm a little early in discussing this because it's generally that like window between Christmas Day and New Year's Eve that people start thinking about New Year's resolutions. There's like this mad dash to ascertain what it is that we want to change and what it is that we want to improve upon, what we're letting go of, and and the whole like ultra melodramatic Michigas behind it. But um, due to the fact that I can't guarantee that I will be uploading during said window, I thought I would talk about it now. Because oddly enough, I have been thinking about this. And I had an epiphany that I feel convicted to share with y'all. More so because I have never been in this position before in my life. So I would love to know what your New Year's resolutions are, and I'm getting ready to tell you mine, which may require a cigarette. Um, I realized that going into 2017, the thing that I'm going to work on the most, the thing that I want to change the most, the thing that has to be done differently going into and ostensibly maneuver, maneuvering my way through the new year is absolutely nothing. And this is monumental to me because I am the girl who has always had something something that I wanted to work on, something that I wanted to change, something that, that needed to be done differently. And so over the past couple of weeks, it has really dawned on me that I don't feel compelled to change one damn thing going into the new year. And let me, let me kind of break this down for y'all. Because when I realized it myself, I damn near had a stroke. Like, what do you mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, I am in no way suggesting that I am perfect. And it's like, I'm, I'm also aware that, you know, everybody is a work in progress. And there's always something that you can kind of cultivate or, or rearrange or absolutely let go of if, if you feel so convicted. But... I will say to you, and this is so amazing because I've never, like, I have yet to even say this out loud to myself, that for the first time in my life, I am in a space where I like myself so much that I don't feel that, like, glaring desire to pinpoint and or highlight my shortcomings and be so myopically focused on that that I must absolutely, you know, divest myself of something prior to the new year. Like, I'm really in a space <laughs> where I am enjoying the hell out of being me. You know, like... Sure, I could take another hundred steps every day and track my progress. And sure, I can work on finally letting go of smoking and stuff like that. But it's just, I don't know. I'm sort of in this this area. And it's not delusional. I promise it's not. But I just feel like all of the little idiosyncratic stuff that comprises who I am is kind of part of my genius. 
And I, I look at this past year that I've had and see these areas where I've made some monumental changes and monumental progress. And because I've been working on this thing all year, there's no reason to believe that that won't continue. So I, I think the one thing that I, I really didn't perform in 2016 that I would be concerned about bringing into 2017, but with that said, don't really have to be concerned about bringing that into 2017 because I didn't do it this year, is just be complacent. You know, just just make sure you've got some some pots on the proverbial stove. Make sure that, you know, you're in motion. Whether, I mean, and that can mean physically. That can mean, you know, with regard to your job, with regard to your relationships with other people, with regard to your relationship to yourself. Like, just make sure that you're in motion and stay that way. I don't know. I'm still kind of working all this out for myself, but it's just... As my Facebook goes off, I feel really good. It's it's incredible to be able to say that I feel really good and mean it. It doesn't mean that there's not stuff on the horizon. It doesn't mean that there's not a single problem to be talked about. But it just means that I feel like I am in a space where I have this incredible support system and, and I have my own fortitude to lean on when when things arise. So, yeah, I'm changing nothing. I have no New Year's resolution. And I feel amazing about that. This is a very specific place in one's life to be in. And, and I don't expect, like, everybody to kind of, like, hop on this train with me. But, you know, I, I think there is sort of a need and a peace around taking inventory of your life and, and, and recognizing that there are things which may be bad, which is absolutely valid, but is it so bad that it's unmanageable? And if it is, my, my prayer is that you take the necessary steps to take the bull by the horns and and really address that thing, whether it be through therapy, whether it be through finding some kind of outlet, whether it be whatever, by however means you deem necessary to engage in the act of self-care, that would be my wish for you, and I firmly encourage you to do so. But, I don't know. I think that really, and maybe I'm just speaking for myself here, please tell me if I am, we spend a disproportionate amount of time reflecting on what needs to be worked on and and what's left to do rather than just assessing the totality of our lives and seeing what we've already done what we've already handled what what we we know that we're capable of handling and i'm pretty sure that i'm doing that and i think that's kind of why this joy, which I know does not come from me, is is really present and, and being sort of fully experienced. I hope this is making sense to y'all. I'm not going to keep you any longer, but I, I just hope that that gives you something to think about. And I, I would love to um, see you again prior to the new year. I don't want to make any promises. I am going away for uh, the holidays this week, which I am beyond excited for. I will be seeing Mike, um, who is out of state at the moment, but I'm traveling and making my way to him, and we're going to spend Christmas together, and there is no better news for me. So, with that said, y'all, um, wherever you're going, please take my love with you. And if I don't see you prior to the holidays, um, I wish you so much peace and so much joy and 
all the best that the day can offer you by however you define that. I love you always. And as always, <laughs> one love and happy holidays.